I am so excited to share the making of this goat's milk soap with you guys today. What an amazing bar this turned out to be. I used tallow and I used coconut oil for this bar of soap. So it's going to be a very hard bar of soap that is going to lather very nicely. I am now weighing out 23 ounces of tallow and 10 ounces of organic virgin coconut oil. It's really important you use a digital scale when making soap and not just measuring cups because you want to be as accurate with your soap making as possible. Also, I know my coconut oil looks like it's a liquid. It is just very hot here in Florida. I really enjoy the properties that these hard oils and fats add to the bars of soap. Although it does make for a more likely crack in the soap, I think it is so worth it working with these. I used condensed goat's milk for this recipe. You can use fresh goat's milk with the same amounts. It is so important that you freeze your milk before adding your sodium hydroxide to it. When making milk-based soaps, it's really important that we keep the temperatures as low as possible so that we don't burn our milk. I did add a bit of water because I was a little bit under on my frozen milk, which that's fine because it is condensed milk. It's a more concentrated goat's milk anyway. One thing I would do differently next time I make this soap is that I would slowly add my sodium hydroxide as I mix the solution. My phone ran out of storage as I was filming and I was trying to film a TikTok video at the same time and it just became kind of a panic moment of trying to record both the YouTube video and the TikTok video. After mixing this solution, I set it aside with a towel over it to let it cool. I also melted down my oils too until it became a liquid and set that aside to cool down also. A couple hours later, once everything was at a good temperature, I prepared my oats. I put these in the blender to grind them down to a smaller consistency. Sorry if you guys are hearing a lot of noise in the background. It's raining right now and that sounds really loud hitting the roof. <laughs> Next, I'm going to add my lye milk mixture to my oils. Before you add that lye milk mixture to your oils, make sure you give it a really, really good stir. Now I'm going to begin mixing with my immersion blender. You wanna mix it really well because that lye milk solution is really thick and we wanna make sure we're dispersing it completely and emulsifying everything together. Normally, about now, I would go in and start to add essential oils to scent the soap. But this time I'm not going to. You are completely welcome to do so, but I wanted to keep this a very bare and especially gentle bar of soap. Also, I simply love the smell of tallow and soap. It smells very sweet to me. Now I'm adding in my ground up oats. I'm going to make sure that completely disperses through the soap. Because I did not do a water discount or add any essential oils that could speed up trace or anything like that, this soap did not trace quickly at all. As you can see, it still has a very liquidy consistency, but everything is completely emulsified together. I believe it was about 15 to 20 minutes later that the soap started to firm up to the perfect consistency to start texturizing the top of the soap. One big tip I have for you guys is cake decorating tools are absolutely amazing for using on your soap. Lastly, I went in and sprinkled full pieces of oatmeal on the top of the soap. This is just for aesthetics and also so that people can easily identify that there is oatmeal in this soap, which is something a lot of people actually look for. Now it's the next day and I'm ready to cut the soap. You can find my wooden soap cutter in my Amazon storefront linked in my caption. You guys, I love that wooden soap cutter. It cuts so smoothly. I love that I can change the size of the bars that I'm making. Thank you to everyone who orders through my Amazon storefront or orders a bar of soap from me. You guys really help me to keep going and producing this content because it does take time and it does take money to make these videos. So I really appreciate all of you. You keep me going. Now look at that beautiful bar of soap we have created. I think sometimes simple is best and that really shows in this bar of soap. Now it will cure for one month. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more soap making content.